All right, so today I'm going to tell a story about a man I met on the internet. But it's not a typical story of men you might meet on the internet. It's quite possibly the nerdiest thing I have ever done in my entire life. <laughs> so when I was a 16-year-old girl, I was not really your typical 16-year-old. My parents offered to throw me a party for my 16th birthday. Instead, I asked them to build me a computer. <laughs> so I had my sweet new gaming computer. And I was really excited because one of my friends introduced me to this game called Star Wars Galaxies. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, still am, love it. But so, the, one of the greatest things about this game was that it was like an entirely new universe. And as an awkward, nerdy 16-year-old girl, this was just something I could completely develop, uh, you know, dedicate my entire free time to. So I got really into this game. I was in a guild with me and my best friend, and the two of us played all the time. And I met this guy. And, you know, I didn't know anything about this guy at all, but our characters were totally into each other. <laughs> it, it was just, you know, it was this thing, and we, we got along really great, and we had this, like, imperial role-playing, and we got married, like, in the game. I was like, well, you know, our characters kind of have this pretty serious relationship going on, so I figured maybe maybe I should get to know this guy a little bit. Like, you know, we kind of just, like, started chatting, the two of us. and. When you talk to someone you meet on the internet, you never really expect that you'll ever actually meet them in person. So I find it, found myself completely opening up to this guy. Didn't know how old he was, I didn't know where he lived, I didn't even really even know his name. But over the time, we sort of developed this internet marriage and like sort of friendship on the side and you know, exchange MSN and then you know, suddenly this person kind of like becomes a real human being and not just this character in a video game. And as it turns out, this person, his name was Vin, he lived less than an hour away from me. So as a 16-year-old girl, I started you know, webcam chatting with this guy. And uh, my parents found out about it because there were like ridiculous phone bills like, from this like random address in Brooklyn. They're like, what are you even doing? I'm like, but then I had to tell my parents, I met this guy. <laughs> like on the internet and I kind of left out the part about how our like internet characters were married like I just like left that part like I just figured maybe they didn't need to know like quite the intimate details of the situation yet um, but I, I one day I, was just, I went up to my dad and I told him you know like I really want to meet him like I want to go and I want to meet him and it, like we've exchanged pictures I swear he's not like really creepy he's not gonna kill me or anything like it's fine like he's like 18 so my dad agreed to take me uh, to meet him, but his mom found out. So she had to come too. <laughs> so my dad and I got on the Metro North, and we went down Grand Central Station, kind of standing there, really shy, like never had a boyfriend before, never even kissed a guy really uncomfortable with my dad in the middle of Grand Central Station. And, you know, in the distance I can see this guy, he's ridiculously tall. You guys know I'm short. Vin is six foot one. He comes with, like, his mom was also kind of about my height. And, like, we come up, we finally meet, we're kind of just standing there, like, you know, what's the protocol with, like, meeting a guy from the internet with their parents? Like, how does that really work? <laughs> it's not something, you know, Pretty socially awkward at 16 years old. No idea what I was doing. Anyway, the four of us just do what every, whatever else you might normally do on like a Saturday afternoon. We go to Brazilian barbecue. <laughs> Why not? So we go out to this restaurant and I eat probably more meat than I've ever even eaten in my life. And we just kind of talk about everything, but the two of us are so shy that it's really just his mom talking to my dad. So. I don't even really remember anything that we actually said to each other that entire first time we met. Um, but as we go to sort of part ways, I give him a hug, and I think to this day I can still like remember like what he smelled like. But we do remember that also the reason he smelled that way was because his mom smelled his clothes um, all this laundry. Um, but so from that moment on, we met up with each other in our respective homes, like either at my place or at his place in Brooklyn for the next two and a half years. Uh, we were young and it didn't work out, but what this story reminds me of is that, you know, love happens when you absolutely least expect it. So that is the story of my first crush. Woo!